All right, Rob Pink is here with another Personal Defense Network training tour update. We are about a third of the way through. We've gone all the way up the East Coast, up in New England, and now I'm back down in the South. I'm here at Tactical Responses Home Range in Camden, Tennessee. This has been a regular stop for me on my tour through the South, heading out into the Plain States, and then I'm gonna eventually, of course, get out to the Pacific Northwest. So just finished up the NRA convention, 2013 NRA convention, took a little time off from riding around in the tour truck, flew down to Houston, had a great time down there. You might have heard about the seminars I put on. They were great, defensive shooting skill development and home defense. Of course, those were all underwritten by the Personal Defense Network, and we were invited guests of the NRA to present there. It was really an awesome time. Highly encourage you to not only be an NRA member, but also go to the annual meetings. Next year it's in Indianapolis. I plan on being back, and again, I plan on doing some seminars there. One of the things I want to talk about today is safety. One of the other things that's headquartered here in Camden, Tennessee is SOE gear. Um, SOE, I've known these guys for a long time, John Willis, these guys make some great stuff and they make it in fancy cool camo and fancy cool colors. So uh, some range somewhere I left my boring olive drab with red tab uh, medical kit. So I got a new fancy one while I was here in town. What uh, this has in it is something that I think you should have or three things really that I think you should have on any range anytime you're training. Anytime you're doing any firearms work, I think you should have a compression bandage, I think you should have a tourniquet, and if you know how to use it, and honestly in 2013 you probably should, a hemostatic agent. This happens to be one that's uh, inside of a sponge. There's also uh, options to get gauze impregnated with a hemostatic agent that'll pr uh, promote clotting, and then there's granules, there's a lot of different things going on there. Easy enough to learn about, easy enough to figure out how to use. All right, tourniquet, everybody knows how to use that, and the compression bandage. Remember. Blood loss is probably your number one enemy. If you survive the initial trauma, and this isn't just for gunshot wounds, if you're in a car accident, if you survive the initial trauma, earthquake, uh, terrorist incident, whatever it may be, if you survive that initial trauma, blood loss is gonna be your number one killer. Knowing how to stop blood loss, and more importantly, really here, having the tools to do it efficiently, that's really part of your responsibility for personal defense, as well as anything else that we might think about. One other thing I wanna to talk to you about today is the United States Concealed Carry Association. USCCA obviously is a major sponsor of the PDN tour this year, and I've done a lot of work with them over the years. Um, USCCA, uh, first met those guys uh, writing for the magazine. Um, I've been a subject uh, of, of articles inside of their magazine, Concealed Carry Magazine. And if you haven't seen it in 2013, it's gone through a huge change. They just kind of upped their game there as far as production value. It's like a whole new magazine. It's uh, flashy. It's got a lot of really cool stuff going on in there, not only with the way it's laid out, but also with a whole crop of new writers and new content. I'm doing a series on instructor development and instructor professionalism inside of the magazine. And of course, I continue to be part of the advisory board. Uh, Tim Schmidt, uh, the guy who runs it, the guy who founded and put together USCCA with his leadership team uh, invited me and several other guys to be part of the advisory board a number of years ago. Uh, I joined up with them and here's what I found with USCCA. Dedicated to education. Uh, Tim is passionate about learning, he's passionate about skill development and understanding things. That's how we originally met, um, him asking me questions, talking to me about training. We hit it off, uh, he invited me to become part of uh, providing that information through USCCA. And consistently over the years, that's what I've seen from USCCA, is that they come in, they gather information, and then they disseminate it. They wanna make sure that their members are the most educated membership group involved with defensive things, uh, concealed carry, firearms defense, home defense, um, any aspect of this. Um, last year, you may know, we put together my first uh, home study course, the uh, distance learning course, counter ambush training. Um, you can find that uh, online. You can take the online test. When you take the online test, when you get those materials, you'll see that that was co-produced with the USCCA. So I'm a big believer in them. I'm proud to have them supporting us here at Personal Defense Network with the tour. And of course, Personal Defense Network continues to grow. Next week, I'm gonna leave uh, Tennessee here tonight. I'm actually gonna be going over towards Missouri. I'll be in Missouri next week. Uh, we'll be at the Crossbreed Holsters Academy, another one of our sponsors. We'll be there at their headquarters, and we'll be taping. We'll be taping some new DVDs for Personal Defense Network and some online tips. Now, those online tips will end up in our premium area. If you haven't learned about premium membership, head over to my website, head over to personaleventsnetwork.com. Check out the premium members area and the opportunities you have there. We've got some specials going on, kind of a no-brainer. For the price of an annual subscription, you're going to get some free DVDs. You find some discounts out there, different organizations. The NRA obviously is one of our branding partners uh, with our DVDs that go out. And you might even be getting the Personal Defense News, our newsletter that we put out in conjunction with them as well. So personaldefensenetwork.com, as always, adding new content. The training tour continues to trug along. We just had a great class here. We had uh, two days, we had one of them kind of rainy and one of them kind of perfect weather, and now the sun's come back out. 
There's other classes going on. Check out the training tour webpage at personaldefensenetwork.com, and we'll see you in the next update from Missouri, most likely getting a little bit of a sneak peek into the Crossbreed Holsters headquarters, and we'll talk to somebody from their team as well. Thank <laughs> you.